Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with the winner of the largest European Yu-Gi-Oh! tournament of all time. Marco Perico, congratulations. Thank you very much. Well deserved. You are playing World Chalice at the largest event. That's just absolutely crazy. We talked about this before. You yourself said you've been playing this deck for a very, very long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is the ideal build, and I think... This is going to go into the Hall of Fame of Yu-Gi-Oh decks. Like some, hope so. <laughs> somebody's just going to carve this into stone and, and hanging on the wall. Um, I think if I ask you, do you want to change anything about your deck, you're going to nothing say nothing at all. Nothing at all. <laughs> okay, that is fair enough. Let's walk you through the finals one more time, just so you know, so you're 100% sure it was not a dream. It did actually happen. First game. I still have to realize that. So. <laughs> First game, uh, you were opening. Yeah. You were kicking things off, and you had fantastic opening. Yeah, basically. Really that opens, me and my friends uh, called it Pentakill, because basically. Uh, Pentakill? Yeah, it kills five cards of, of your opponent. Mm -hmm. So it's quite a game. You had so many negations. We were like, he should just shuffle up. Yeah, 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 we because. Uh, Gamesiel, at, uh, at least, it gets two, mm -hmm. but it's, if something is central graveyard, it can get one more. Uh, so Firewall can bounce one and can bring him back Eva yeah. with the Herald. Uh, Eva and the Herald gives me another Herald. So, yeah. So, yeah, there are really five F cards. Five negations yeah. usually get the job done. We, we, we've talked all day about how one negation, anyone should be able to get through that. Two negations, Maybe Not start so doing much. something. <laughs> Five negations, I think that's the strongest opening board we've yeah, seen in this whole Even six negation, tournament. even six negation you can do. But we have to give credit where credit is due. Uh, Marcus had a very strong comeback in, in his game too. Uh, when, when he started with that Utopia <laughs> Sexo move. Yeah, I was about to like play again my mm -hmm. game. But the, the SO, I think its name is. Uh, it's you yeah, it's exactly yeah, number, number it, so, yeah. It, it's just amazing, like absurd effect. You, you don't you don't play. Yeah, I just had to draw the art of perfection, but I didn't. So that's right, it. right. <laughs> that was it. And I mean, you even had a kaiju, so it looked like mm, a little no. bit like you because might. I I well, I had mind control in that game, mm -hmm. and I said, okay, I had mind control. T can't take that action. Might go for a link free maybe, like mm -hmm. Linjir, Zeus, and but I can't. Uh, can activate made, uh, activate my control. Yeah, I was just like freeze. I can just set pass. Yeah. So at this point, we were worried that we might have three games in a row where only a single player gets to play. We 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 talked in our commentary box here about how the absolute fairy tale finish would be for a game three where both players get to go to and fro, and <laughs> it only gets decided after a few turns, and then you guys delivered. Yeah, <laughs> you, you did deliver. But um, in game three, I misplayed. I misplayed because when I summoned two monsters from Legacy, I had to summon the yellow monster in, uh, in defense position. I was overthinking and uh, didn't realize that the purple poison can uh, crash into mm -hmm. my yeah and pop down this spell. Otherwise, I would have won the the, turn, the next turn. You're right. Yeah. Um. After let's let's take you a little bit back. After that second game and you're siding for that third game, what was going on in your head? I was like, can I try something that I have haven't never tried? Mm -hmm. Like I play jeans in my side. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like side dreams of or Evelyn Mesh, maybe or something. Going. But uh, then I was like, no, it was okay for me, like hold the tournament, right. the whole tournament, just continue like that. It and in the in the very last game, we saw you at one moment. In one moment, you were lo you looked like you were defeated. Yeah, you put your, your I, I really felt defeated. Like when uh, I've I made that, mis mm -hmm. that mistake, that mistake, I was yeah. like, oh my god, I have. Just lost my final of the Ligers European West, yes. Right. Ever. But then he he did such a strange move. I think I think he could have voticated me, okay. like going for second electromite and so on. But he did. I don't know why. I would have won. Uh, uh, he would have won for sure. We I could, think. Like we could tell the entire story of the match unfolding basically just in your body language. You you went from you went from this to like oh oh uh, yeah. <laughs> well, he, he just said uh, pass your turn. I was like, oh, really? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> and then once it was your yeah, turn, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you were going through the move after move after move, and again, it, ironically, I think we talked to you about this earlier. Um, <laughs> so you was again like clutch, really, really important, and you you used it to great effect. It seemed yeah. like it was really doing, putting in some real work for you here. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, for sure. You're a fan of the card. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Like yeah, <laughs> kind of yeah. Actually yes. 
Yes. I mean, in, in the end, it was, it was just amazing. And then you had that soul charge. Yeah, that soul charge was like... It was like the game. Yeah. yeah. The, the, the shiny end always wins the game. <laughs> Did you know how long was left on the clock when you were going through those no. plays? No, no, no. I was just thinking on my game set. Because basically the deck, when resolve soul charge, the next turn rotates. Yeah. Like always. I have Gamis, I have Firewall. I was like pretty sure he would have not done anything. Also because he had the two low scales. Yeah. He could have some. Uh, that was a really huge mistake. I think he, he misplayed a lot, even in the third game. Right. So, so in after that soul charge, you only have one more battle phase, but you felt like I have this now. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. Ju just because of the of the boost attack of Skudra. Right. Yeah, just every monster gains three three hundred. Just just help you to OTK so easy. Okay. I, I don't worry about uh, what you got. I have my negations. I have my firewall. Next turn, I OTK you. All right. Perfect. So <laughs> that's in, my plan. <laughs> in as few words as possible, mm. how does it feel? to become a YCS champion? Uh, it feels like strange. <laughs> <laughs> Still setting in? Yeah, because uh, you say all your friends, there were like 20 of my friends, like uh, shouting, jumping and so on. And you say, oh, wow, oh, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it seems like everybody else is realizing it before you are realizing yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. That, I don't know how to describe that. It's strange and uh, uh, it's unbelievable, of course. But that's it. <laughs> uh, I have no words. It's, it's, it's fine, it's fine. You're like a little bit in shock, but in a, in a good shock. <laughs> It'll a, take a long time to get over yeah. that. <laughs> um, okay, I have one last question. We only had 107 Italian players. Mm. Ten of them, I, th I think it was ten, made it to... Nine players in the top 32. Nine. Excellent conversion rate. Well, yeah. What is it with you guys? What are you doing? You got some, some magical Yu-Gi-Oh! shoes at home or something? Uh, basically, uh, I think that our strength is like... We all test together. Okay. Uh, like I have, for example, a group of testing of about 15 people, mm -hmm. and uh, it's really helpful because there are so many ideas, so many playstyles. It's like playing really uh, 10 rounds of YCS. Right. Uh, it's the best preparation. Even in your locals. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Thank you so much. We're going to see you one more time in the award ceremony. Don't worry, no more feature matches. Oh. You're, good, you're good, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only time that we're going to see you again for this weekend. Going to see you at a couple of future events, I hope. I hope you're going to see you again. I hope so. I really hope so. And um, that's basically your cue, guys. We hope you enjoyed the show this far. There's going to be one more feature that is the award ceremony where we're going to be handing out some prizes. Price cards, of course, PlayStations, things like that. With that, uh, in case you you're, you're leaving us now, that's fine, we can understand. It's been a very long weekend. Um, um, I have to say thank you to Luke, of course, who did a wonderful job this weekend. Thank you so much, Thomas. Uh, it was nice having you for the first time in the coverage, and I would love to have you again. I've loved being here, and I'd love to come back and do it again with you. Right. So with that, we're signing off with only the award ceremony to come, guys. We hope you enjoyed the coverage of YCS Bochum 2018, and of course, we're going to catch you guys later this year for more cool events.